This is the famous horseshoe of Ohio Stadium, where this afternoon the Louisville Cardinals are in town for their first meeting ever with the Ohio State Buckeyes, and we expect a crowd of over 92,000 this afternoon. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Fiziak. Ohio State started this year amidst a great deal of controversy. Their leading running back, the National Freshman of the Year from a year ago, Robert Smith, left the football team in a conflict of interest between academics and athletics. Robert Smith will not be back in the football team this year, and there's a great deal of doubt whether he will ever be a Buckeye running back in his future. But joining me today is Gary Danielson. Gary played a, against Ohio State plenty, and Gary, one thing you remember about Ohio State, they never had just one running back. Yeah, that's right. You know, when you think Ohio State, two things come to mind. You're going to have a new Woody Hayes story, and you're going to have somebody to run the ball. Well, we don't have any Woody Hayes story for you, but we've got somebody to run the ball. Butler Benote, leading rusher in the nation so far. He rushed for 189 yards last week in the opener against Arizona. He runs 4 3 7, 40. He's strong, he's got great vision, and he loves to cut back. We'll see a lot of him and a bunch of other running backs today. Well, for Louisville, their quarterback was supposed to be Jeff Brom. He replaced Browning Nagel the number one draft choice of the New York Jets. But last week in our Thursday evening television game on ESPN against Tennessee, he was in a scramble situation. There he is, number 11. And from the blind side, right side defensive line from Tennessee, they dropped him. He broke the right fibula in his right leg. And Jeff Brom may not come back. So, Gary Danielson, what is the quarterback picture for Louisville right well, now? Howard Snellenberger will start senior Eric Watts. He's been in the program for five years. He'll call the audibles, which Howard loves to do. But there you see it. He's only thrown six passes in his... Ohio State will always be tough against the run. Greg Smith making the tackle that time. He's at the nose guard. Alonzo Spellman, everybody's choice for All-American this year. And the linebacker, Steve Tobar, is outstanding. I mean, he is a Lombardi and Outland choice winner perhaps this season. And Roger Harper mans a huge defensive backfield. He's 6'4", 225. A lot of people say he is a lot like David Fulcher of the Cincinnati Bengals, a huge, strong safety. They gain one. Kaczorski, number 95, came in from that left side, and he led the t Big Ten in sacks in 1988, but he has suffered injuries ever since. Spellman from the inside. He grabbed him with one hand and pulled him down. So fun it to Brian Stabline. And trouble again, and Ohio State will start with great field position. Last year, threw for 124 yards in his first start. Jeff Conference, 105 yards and only seven carries in the victory over Arizona. We told you about Benote. Alan Klein, maybe the best offensive lineman Ohio State has had since Jim Lachey. He and Len Hartman, you'll see Benote and Conference going over that left side a lot this afternoon. Third and 13. Ran plenty of time. Has his man. And the extra effort gets him the first down. He's in touchdown. Went right over the center pole long, right over the right guard, Dave Mono, and Benote with the score. Wilmsmeyer, he gets this one off, and State Line will fair catch it at his 27 yard line. Offense so far. Personal foul. Was he the kicker? That's a first down. Cook and Wyatt. Kaczorski. Complete first down. Watts completes the pass for a first down. out of the end zone. Foster Park picked it up. Absolutely, that's an interception. Uh -huh. Touchback right there. <laughs> Edwards in motion. <laughs> Benote, big hole. Good 
play action by Crank. And Edwards will get the first down and five more. Favorite play. They pick up an OJ. He's to the third. Great cutback. And he's down inside the 20-yard line. Kevin Gaines making perhaps a touchdown saving tackle. See, we did that last year against Boston College. And it is wide. And Tim Williams, who only missed five in his career, misses number six from 32 yards out and down. Dawkins gets the first down. Inside the 30-yard line, Rob Dawkins has finally run down. To the 20. Dawkins to the 15 yard line. Oh man, Nick Bust to throw, and Ohio State recovers the fumble. Jason Simmons recovered, but Tobar on the blitz was the man who knocked the ball loose from Eric Washington. Did Buchanan hold on? Yes, he did. Interception by Ray Buchanan, his second this year. The kid Graham got a little greedy that time, Steve. He had Brian Stabling open coming across. It's a play action pass. You're going to have one receiver, nice fake, but he's got the receiver right down the middle, wide open. But Buchanan doesn't take the fake, gets back, and picks off a well-thrown ball, but you still have to account for that free safety when you throw down the middle. Blitz is off, down goes Watts, a fumble on the play. Brian Cook from the corner blitz, and they're just breaking Watts in half. One of the toughest reads for a quarterback in college football, or for that matter, any level, is the corner blitz. It's coming more and more in college football when you're on that short hash. You must account for him. This time, Brian Cook comes. It's a zone defense. It's very hard to read. Someone is responsible for that guy. It was the right guard, and you see it. It was a full sprint helmet right under the chin. And Eric Watts, if he gets up and plays anymore today, he's a tougher guy than I was. Completes the pass to his tight end, Jeff Ellis. The catch is made for the first down. Bernard Edwards. Downfield again. Dante Lee for a first down inside the 20-yard line. 36 yards out. Williams, this time he is true. And Ohio State takes a 10-0 lead with seven seconds left before halftime. 12 yards in the play. Going downfield. Chico Nelson with the interception. Out of bounds inside Louisville territory. Looks like they're just going to hammer on him. Fourth straight for Snow to the 30-yard line. Well, they'll try him again. It's been working, but this time, read nicely by Louisville. Still, he may have gotten a couple of yards.
behind Klein and Hartman. They went right over the top of those big guys. Williams has his extra point blocked, and it's picked up by Ray Buchanan, who has had a marvelous game thus far, and he will take it back all the way. So Louisville is on the board. There it is, all day. Gonzalez for the first down. Touchdown of the day. Carlos Snow. On play action pass. Graham finds his man for the first down. That's State Line. It was his big third down receiver last week. Snow turns the corner up near midfield. Cochran to the 30. He's finally run. He's in the five. Touchdown! Lost his time. Completes the pass. This time he does get the first down. Nice touch on that one. an extra point in his entire career misses one here They're starting quarterback Jeff Brown all year but they've got a guy now they think throw the ball and move the ball onside kick and they can't reach it and a guy in his first start ever Eric Watts might pull off a big one here The catch is made by Terry Quinn. Second and one, Dawkins. Williams after him, he cuts back. Watch needs two. Clark was coming on hard again. The corner blitz left side. Chip off. 2.30 remaining. Watts dumps it off Dawkins. He's got some blocking in front of him. Tobar reads it beautifully and messes up the play. It's time, though. Watts on first down, completes the pass. This is Brown down the sideline, out of bounds, near the 40 yard line. Watch time again. Gonzalez this time holds on near a first down at the 30 yard line. Tobar. Bell to them as he caught it. First down, Dawkins. Look at him go. Get up to the line of scrimmage, Howard saying. Get up to the line of scrimmage. Keep him off balance. 15. Inside the 12 yard line. And now Schnellenberger will call the timeout. Dawkins, no. They tried this last week against Tennessee on first and goal from the two. Four times they attacked the middle that could not get in. Last week started. 
Dawkins into the flat. Fourth down. He loops it in the end zone for Brown. He can't reach it, and Ohio State takes over. And that should do it. The Buckeyes will go 2-0. Oh. Louisville will fall to 1-2. Final score, Ohio State 23, Louisville 15. Hang in there, you got a good football. Good luck. For Gary Danielson, I'm Steve Fiziak. Goodbye from Columbus, Ohio. The residence in scoreboard is next.